Hello and welcome to Ohio Hobbies. You'll have to forgive me just a bit, the sound of this, because I do have the prayer running in the background. But, uh, we are here today. We are going to hunt a box of pennies. We are going to look for wheat. We are still looking for my very first ever Indian head. I also have never found a proof penny. We will be looking for errors and varieties, foreigns, and anything unique. As long as we have a circulated box, which we most certainly do. And we'll take a look real quick through the top enders, and then I will start hunting and bring you along for all the finds. We definitely have some copper in here, no doubt about that. Well, check a couple more here. And then we will get on with the hunt. Okay, we'll hang out. I hope you enjoy the ride. I hope we have a fun one. Let's go. Well, well, well. We are three rolls in. I have no finds until now. We have found my very first proof penny 2002 San Francisco proof sent look at that cameo it's got some gunk at the beginning of Liberty but we now have in my collection the very first sent proof and that is the first find of the box can't beat that this box has got to go up there high on my list. Fantastic. Roll number 10. All we've found so far is the proof right there. Two birth and early childhood from 2009. One 1959. And, and I, in this stack here, right there, we have our first Canadian. And it's a dirty one. 1990 so we're on the board with one Canadian so far 10 rolls in still no weeds so I'm a little nervous hopefully in the next 40 rolls this box heats up well here we are we are 12 rolls in still have the same finds but I did just come across our very first wheat we have 1950 we are finally on the board with one wheat scent. Roll number 14, and we are finally gonna have our second wheat. I'm not sure if you noticed it already popping up right there. But we have number two, and it is a 1950 Denver. So both of our wheats are both 1950s, one Philly, one Denver. All right, hopefully there's more coming up. Okay, roll number 15. And we are finally going to get our third wheat. I already seen the date. It was up 1951. That's okay. We're finally up to three. I feel a little bit more confident we're going to find some more now. Very next roll. And we get another wheat. It was obverse up. 1956 Denver. Well, it's a younger one. But we're still on the board. We're up to four now. Roll number 19. And I just came across another Canadian, this time 1989, and that is number two. Roll number 20, and we just came across a very nice wheat scent, reverse side up. Now it does have a few marks there, but... It's actually in pretty nice condition. And it's a 1951D. Not as nice on the obverse. But. It is a 1951. So what more can you ask for? That very same roll. We found a counter stamped. Lincoln versus Kennedy. It even still has some of the glue. On the back where it was stuck to the pamphlet and it's really on there but I'll probably just leave it either way 
I've got a couple of these ones, but I will gladly add another to my collection. Roll 11, and I've already spotted our third Canadian. It is a 1978. That is number three added to the collection. Roll 25, and we have another Canadian. 1979. That is number four on the Canadians. One more, and we're going to tie our wheat. I really want to see more wheats than Canadians. Come on. All the way to roll 30. And you see it right there. We have tied Canadians and wheats. I guess we should take a look at the date on it. Oh, there we go. 1967 bird scent. Well, I'll take that any day. That's a nice addition to the collection. Roll number 31, and we get ahead on the weeds. Number 6 is peeking out right there. And it is 1952, Denver. Roll 38, and I seen the date. It was obverse up, and it is a 46. Oldest one of the box. We got one in the 40s. Everything else was all in the 50s. So that's all right. We're getting a little older. And we have 12 more rolls to see if we can find something even older than that. Roll number 40. And we are going to have our sixth Canadian. And it is a young head. 1963. There it is, a young head. We'll take that. Well, apparently uh, Canada does not want to give up on this one. And we just hit roll number 42. And where did I see it? Right there. We have a 1982. Brings us up to 7. We're at 7 and 7. What's going to happen? Okay, well that's it for this box. Time to get it wrapped up and get on to the next one. What we have is we have two of the S mints. We pulled a 68 and we pulled a 74. We got a stack of six 1960Ds that I will be checking for small date, large date, some year, but not right now. We had two 1959s in the 2009 category. We had five Professional Life, three Sorry, I had the yawn there for a second. We had three of the professional or uh, formative years, two of the birth and early childhood. We had seven Canadians, including a young head and the bird scent. We only had seven wheats, the oldest of 46, two from 50, two from 51, a 52, and a 56. And then we had, of course, Lincoln and Kennedy counter stamped and then the find of the box without a doubt is my first ever proof scent look at that cameo gotta love that I've never had one of these in the collection and I now have my first 
and I found it in the wild okay well that'll get flipped up the rest of these will get put away and I'm getting on to the next box so if you would give me a thumbs up down below hit the subscribe if you're not already subscribed to my channel turn on the bell down in the description of this video you will find my email address and my P.O. box if you wish to send anything my way below that if you're willing able and have the means to help the channel I accept donations at PayPal that's it for this one I want to thank you for watching and as always get your hobby on